Ilya Malina nails six quadruple jumps and leads U.S. team's stunning performance at Worlds. Montreal with the next Winter Olympics closer than the last, the U.S. figure skating team, led by 19-year-old jumping wunderkind Ilya Malinin, delivered its most impressive world championship performance in nearly 20 years, a development that might mean nothing by the time the 2026 Milan Games begin, or could mean everything. Malinin, the son of Olympians and self-described quad god, jolted the 2024 World Championships with the greatest athletic performance in figure skating history Saturday night, unleashing six majestic quadruple jumps, receiving the highest long program score ever awarded and easily winning his first world title. I'm still in shock. I still can't believe I did this, he said more than an hour after he had done it. When I got into the starting position, I knew this could be the best skate of my life or it could go terribly wrong. So I just thought, keep myself under control and try to attack everything. One quad led to another, then another. He was reeling them off, his huck fin locks flying here and there, a lithe youngster growing up before our eyes. I was hearing the crowd cheer, cheer, more, more, and just feeling that energy, he said. Spectators leaped to their feet. I was just flying through the program. It was just amazing to hear at the very end of the program when I finished all my jumping passes, just hear the crowd go wild. When his music stopped and he hit his ending pose, Malinan immediately put his hands to his head and crumpled to the ice. I couldn't even hold myself up. It was just that emotional to me. As remarkable as that scene was, Malinan was not the only American to win a gold medal Saturday on the final day at the Worlds. Ice dancers Madison Chalk and Evan Bates captured their second consecutive world title, which goes nicely with the 2022 Olympic gold medal they will receive sometime relatively soon, they hope, as captains of the US team ensnared in the Camila Valieva doping fiasco. The last time the United States won two gold medals in a world championship was 1996 when Michelle Kwan and Todd Eldridge won the women's and men's titles in Edmonton. In other words, it has been a long time. But there's more. Isabo Levito, 17, the twirling ballerina in figure skating's glittering music box, capped a season full of self-doubt by winning an improbable silver medal in the women's event. That's three US medals in the four world championship disciplines women, men, pairs, and dance. The last time Americans won medals in three different disciplines at a world championship in a non-Olympic year was the 2005 Worlds in Moscow, where Sasha Cohen and ice dancers Tanith Belbin and Ben Agosto won silver medals and Evan Lysasik won bronze. The non-Olympic year distinction is significant because figure skating hosts a world championship every year, including a month after the Winter Olympics. However, invariably, some Olympic medalists choose not to attend those worlds after their Olympic success, watering down the competition and theoretically making it easier for others to win a medal. Then again, this worlds was held without the formidable Russians, still banned from international figure skating events as their nation's war in Ukraine rages on. So Levito's accomplishment, coming after a dreadful meltdown in January's national championship in which she fell three times in her four-minute long program, is a breakthrough, but one almost certainly aided by the absence of the dominating Russian woman. Then again, the Russians just might be banned all the way through the 2026 Olympics for all we know. Like Malinin, Levito really likes to talk, and who doesn't want to listen? As she began her short program the other day, she told herself to stop thinking about what could go wrong. Suddenly your legs are shaking and you feel like you could just get a flick and just fall over, like a feather in the wind, she said. You just have to remind yourself, no. Like the whole program, I was going. What if? Isabo, no. What if? Isabo, no. That was literally in my brain the whole time for the whole 2 minutes 50 seconds. And it worked. For me, she said. It's just all building blocks, just learning more experiences, and becoming wiser so that I can be the best that I can be by the time of the Olympics. There's that Olympics word again. It keeps popping up. 
it's hard to believe but the Beijing Winter Games were 25 months ago, while the Milan Olympics are just 23 months from now. And it just so happens that Olympic figure skating is part of the family business for Malinin. His mother, Tatiana Malinina, was raised in the Soviet Union and competed at 10 consecutive World Championships for Uzbekistan. She finished 8th at the 1998 Winter Olympics in Nagano and 4th at the 1999 Worlds. His father, Roman Skornyakov, represented Uzbekistan at the 1998 and 2002 Winter Olympics. He and Molly Nina moved to the northern Virginia suburbs of Washington before Ilya was born and coached skating, most specifically their son. It almost sounds too good to be true, a story like this. But then the son of these standouts from another generation took the ice Saturday night and the rest is history. Ilya Malinin wins gold with six quad jumps in Majestic Skate at Worlds. England host the Red Devils on Tuesday in the second of their friendly doubleheader having lost to Brazil on Saturday. The FTSE 100 closed in on a record high on Friday amid growing hopes interest rate cuts are on the horizon as official data suggested Britain is out of recession. The debutant did his hopes the world of good, but the defender may have seen his go up in smoke. Childhood fan who is dying of pancreatic cancer managed the home side to victory over Ajax at Anfield in a Legends match. The reigning world champion made a stunning early exit from the third race of the 2024 season. The mayor of the gritty suburb of Paris housing the Olympic Village has said he will not make the same mistake as London by ensuring the Games are not only a great event for the capital but a particle accelerator for the poor. The Aston Martin driver was deemed to be at fault by the stewards for Russell's crash at Albert Park. Sven Goran Eriksson inspires an incredible turnaround on an emotional day at Anfield. The Mercedes driver endured his worst qualifying performance in Melbourne in 14 years. A sports shop is selling St George's Cross Iron on transfers for £4.95, so fans can cover the controversial design on the New England football shirt. Nike revealed it had altered the cross to include purple and blue horizontal stripes in a playful update to the shirt ahead of Euro 2024 this week. Some fans were upset, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak said the flag should not be messed with and opposition leader Keir Starmer called for the kid to be scrapped. Grant Walters, 33, director at the sports shop is now selling heat transfers featuring the St George's cross, which fans to use to cover the new Nike version. Harvey Elliott has become the first player not to display the New England kit's multicolored St. George's Cross amid a growing revolt against it. The Liverpool midfielder took part in his country's European Under-21 Championship qualifier against Azerbaijan on Friday with his collar turned up, thereby hiding the controversial flag. The match in Baku was the first time a team representing England had worn the new kit, which was released by Nike earlier this week. The senior men's team will wear T. Gareth Southgate is without some key players for high-profile Wembley clash. Sven Goran Eriksson is set to fulfill a lifelong dream on an emotional day at Anfield. From Lewis Hamilton to Logan Sargent, which F1 driver racing in 2024 is the richest? The seven-time world champion was forced to retire in Melbourne after a power unit failure. English football's Premier Cup competition has reached the semi-final stage. Follow live updates from the Australian Grand Prix as Verstappen and Hamilton retire in Melbourne. Steve Clark will now look to get back on track against Northern Ireland at Hampton Park on Tuesday night. The Football Association is continuing to defy a growing revolt over the inclusion of a multicoloured St George's Cross on England's new kit despite the Prime Minister saying the national flag should not be messed with. Play in Miami was suspended with the score tied in the first set.